Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft. This is my special 100 subscribers episode and I will be giving you a tour of my very first uh, survival world in Minecraft which I created back in September 18th 2010 when I first played the game. Now um, first off I am playing this in beta 1.3 instead of uh, alpha 1.1 because that's the format that my save file's in. Apparently I kept playing it up until this point in the history of Minecraft. So it won't be quite so outdated, but everything still works the same. So let's just go on in and check it out. Starting at the spawn with the moon setting and the sun rising. Now I just spawned on this little island. Eventually I put in these sand trails so that I would not have to swim every time I died because I died a whole lot. Now I have this minecart because I have a special minecart transportation system. This is before powered rails. But for the first trip I will go over the surface. I'll show you guys that in a, once I get over there. So oh actually I had this I also have an underground trail. I did a lot of trails, but basically I started the game up, I wandered over in this direction, had no idea what I was doing really, and I came to that little hill over there, and that was where I set up my very first base. Well more specifically, I started getting killed by mobs at night, and I went up in these trees to hide. And yeah, the leaves are messed up because this world was generated before biomes, but biomes came out in Alpha 1.2, I think. But yeah, so first thing I did was hide up in these trees. Later, I tunneled into here and made a little house, and much later, I actually made some above-ground trails. Let's check out my first little house. I remember hiding in here with skeletons and stuff coming after me and it was crazy. But this is my little house. Yes, this is what I considered a decent home. Oh, look at all this stuff I have. It's amazing. Let's grab a stone pickaxe just in case. And some wood, why not? I had this little secret exit so I could come in that way and then sneak out this way if mobs were bothering me. Honestly, I'm not sure I ever explored over there. It's kind of weird. Down here leads to my underground... This was going to be some sort of basement storage area, but it also connects to my underground trail. Which I was one of the last things I remember building in this world. Just so that I could travel a bit easier between my areas. Because that's what I basically did, is I built outposts farther and farther out until I started playing multiplayer. So let's go check out on one of the outposts. Sorry about that, just had to clear my throat. Still sick a bit, but... 100 subscribers, it's a pretty big deal. It's been a long time coming. I had been planning on doing this video for that. I remember there always being a ton of creepers on this little island. It was very dangerous. And spiders too. It's probably what caused this hole was the creepers. And I have not played on this world in probably three years, but I still remember everything. Yeah, here's a creeper blast. I made these little tunnels because it was a lot easier to walk through a tunnel than get attacked by mobs on the surface. Uh, that probably leads to my underground trail, but we're taking the above ground one. So, the next thing I did was I went out in that direction and started mining in a big cave system I found, but I'm first going to check out this area over here, which, from what I remember, it was just like a bunch of trees that I built dirt paths around. I don't really know what I was doing there. I just remember trees and stuff. I think there was just a whole bunch of trees on a little island and I wanted to make some sort of base. And I was trying to get the grass to grow out here for some reason, but I never did. 
play enough for that to happen. Oh uh, yeah, there was just uh, some big trees or something, wasn't there? And there's some sort of trail I built. Yeah, I have no idea what I was doing over here. I just thought this little island area with the big trees was cool. Anyway, let's uh continue the tour to where places actually matter. Because I did most of my exploring over here. This is where most of my time in this world was spent after I got out of that area. Whoops. And that is why this one is in the water level. And this one wasn't so that mobs couldn't get to me. I remember so many mobs killing me on this island until I put in this tunnel. I got killed so much back then. I don't know if it was just because I was a noob or if I was just still learning the game. I don't know which. Now that underground tunnel comes up somewhere around here but I'm not 100% certain where so we might not be able to take it back. I think it might be over there. I actually might have connected it with my main base. But let's head on over here. There's a huge mountain over there. I didn't. I think I explored a little bit beyond that mountain. I mean, in retrospect, I really didn't explore all that much, but it felt like a ton back when you're just joining the game. Oh, and this thing was cool. This is my actual base. This was the actual opening as I saw it. I didn't dig that. It was just a cave I found. But I got tired of mobs, so I built this moat thing with these checkpoints so that I could, you know, fight mobs without them getting across and stuff. So that's what this thing is. Because I had a huge mob problem. And yeah, there's a bunch of water over there. I was messing around with those mountains. But let's check out my first real mine. Because this was basically the second thing I did. I made that little hole over there and then I came over here. Most of the stuff you've seen I built later. Just because I kept dying and went an easy trail back. It took me forever to get the grass to grow down here. But I did it. I got it this low down. So this is my cave base. Apparently I have a bed. Those didn't exist when I first started playing, obviously. Um... This is actually where I got the supplies for my minecart, because for some reason I didn't have an extra one. I died a bajillion times in this cave. It goes on and on. It's really actually a huge cave system. It's where all my resources came from. Look at that, some gold. Apparently I never finished mining this place. Though I definitely did see that gold because I walked right by it to place that torch. That's interesting. So this was my mining base, basically. And now, if I remember correctly, there is actually a third base that I built even farther out past that water mountain. And that's getting near the edge of the map, actually, because I remember when 1.2 came Okay, so I have crashing issues with this version as well, but like I was saying, this third base is actually near the edge of the map because back when the biome update came out in Alpha 1.2, the uh, Halloween update, I remember there was a huge chunk edge and I was not very happy about that. And that's one of the reasons why I really just switched over to multiplayer at that point and only played on this world occasionally. At some point I completely stopped sometime after 1.3 obviously. But anyway, let's go check out the stupid things I did with water. I think I just put a bunch of water on the mountain so I could slide down it. <coughs> the old hurt noise which they got rid of because they didn't want to add gender to Minecraft. For some reason.
Yep, water. I think I just thought it looked cool, pretty much. It served no real purpose. We got a tree in the clouds. I did like this little uh, hidden area it made. I remember that. And I got some sort of tower over here. Don't remember what that was about. I do remember messing around with it, though. It's amazing how much I remember of this. Considering it's been so many years. Four years, almost. Yeah, I have no idea what this was about. No. Oop. Got some glass. That means this is the third base. But this base was a lot of work. It was some sort of glass dome base. Now, I spent a lot of time on this and never used it for anything, really. Oh, I have a chest. It's in it. Oh, yeah, that's useful. Not. Yeah, I don't really know what I was going to do with this. I don't think I had any idea even back then. I just wanted to block off an entire area with glass because this was kind of cool looking. And that was that. And then beyond here will be the chunk edge where I said, well, this is crap. I think it's right over there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. That's not really part of the world. And now we've got nighttime incoming, so that's good. Got it on peaceful mode. That cow just despawned. Because back in this version... Even peaceful animals despawned. Wasn't too great, really. Couldn't have farms. Anyway, though, I'm going to head back to base now. And then we'll check out the minecart thing. And then I have one last little thing to show you guys. And then this tour will be over. Can't run in this. And it's really dark during night time, so I'm actually going to cut the video here and I'll bring you guys back when I'm at spawn. Actually, I have a better idea. I took a backup of myself at spawn, so I will just load that real quick. Saves. And... Isn't this useful? Um... I was not quite prepared for how I was going to do this, apparently. Okay. There we go, world one at spawn with cart. And it's nighttime. Oh well, doesn't matter. So, people who started playing more recently will be completely unaware of the minecart trick, unless they've watched older videos with other people. But I will just show you guys how it works. Um, come on. There we go. Now see that minecart came with me. And that one too. And basically when you're next to a minecart like that, it boosts both minecarts forward. And the way I have it set up, the minecarts reset back to their original position. You can see that little curve there, so they'll bounce around and turn back. So this is how you got around before they added powered rails and fixed this glitch. Now, see that one just reset? And here is base. So that was how that worked. And you can see I didn't really light things very much, which is why I died so much. I think I didn't really realize how lighting worked until I got to my cave base because I had to light that whole place up. Anyway, let's uh, ride the second half of this just because I can. I don't need to show you guys the caves or anything. They are just tunnels that lead to my various bases. But yeah, so this is my first world. And now for the other thing I wanted to show you, which is my second world. I made it around the same time. I just uh, wanted to play on an ice world because back then there was no biomes but there was a small chance of a world being an ice world, 
which was pretty cool. So that's my world two. Now this is not my spawn as far as I know, but I basically did the same thing everywhere. I spent hours upon hours molding the ice to make these little tunnels. I made a ton of these. It connects like probably three or four different islands if I remember correctly. I haven't explored this world so I don't know. Now this thing doesn't really work. I think I need more minecarts for it but the idea was I w oh I left it on. Whoops. Let me just uh, turn it off real quick. Okay. So the idea was you do this and then due to a glitch the minecarts would merge and they would build their own momentum similar to the other minecart glitch and then you just get in and go press the button and go but what actually happens is they generally fall apart if you're in them but it keeps going this time of course when I'm not ready for it anyway this base was I think my farthest outpost and I didn't really have anything special I think this must be where I got the diamonds for that diamond pickaxe. I just mined down there. I think I did a little branch mining. And, uh, yeah, did some mining. Anyway, we can head through this tunnel and see where it goes. I liked the effect that this gives, where you can see underwater like that. That's part of the reason why I went to so much effort to make this. Of course, now it's basically meaningless thanks to Silk Touch. The amount of effort required for this is basically nothing compared to what it was back then. But you can see I was getting my minecart thing set up where I could go through this whole thing by minecart. That was the last little thing I'd done in this world. This world I never really built up all that much. I mean, it was it's literally just these tunnels and a couple caves where I mined stuff. And that was it. Getting to spawn won't take very long at all. I was very happy with how it turned out, though. And it was kind of neat how you could have a world that was all snow biome. Kind of missed that. Now, you can see I didn't complete this. I had built into the ice to make it easier because that way I only had to place the ground which was easy and it got me a free wall. I kinda wish I'd rode those minecarts now but I think they would have fallen apart if I'd been riding them because I think what happens is the one you're in has more momentum just due to how they're programmed and I think that usually causes them to fall apart but they did make it sometimes, obviously. I wouldn't have made this whole thing if it didn't work. But this way I get to talk about it. We'd been going much faster with the minecarts. So yeah, those, this world and the other one, that's basically the only single player I've ever really done outside of the block order. I've obviously made some other worlds over the years, but... Nothing I've seriously played in. Once I got into multiplayer, I just kind of use my multiplayer server as a single player server. Because that way I can still basically do whatever I want and <clears throat> it's easy to invite my friends to see what I built when I build something cool. And also of course I get access to Cheese Mod which does a whole bunch of great stuff. And look at that, I had some sort of tunnel there. I think that was solely built just to light this up to look cool. I think I remember doing that. And these were entrances so I could jump inside and be safe from mobs. We're getting near the beginning now. So this gives you an idea of just how much time I spent just playing Minecraft and doing basic boring things that I probably wouldn't have the patience to do nowadays. Oh, it's really dark. Head for the light. I really should have lit this. What was I thinking? And we got some offshoot tunnels. A lot of sand for being underground. It's 
kind of strange. And there is one other world I played on, but I didn't play it on it seriously. I basically got on, I figured out how to set trees on fire, or I found a lava pool or something, and basically burned down an entire forest. But the way fire worked back then, it left a whole lot of floating, burning logs, and it was really laggy. And so I quit that world, and I might have it lying around somewhere, but not showing it today. Holy crap, this is longer than I thought. But yeah, I think that's the minecarts there, isn't it? I don't know if I have a way to start them up from this end. I don't know if I ever made that. Looks like I did, because looks like there's something up this hill. Minecarts were so abusable back in the olden days. And I guess this must be the spawn area. Oh look, I did have a thing. So I actually spawned in a little continent. Let's actually check the coordinates. No, this is not spawn. Something interesting is F3 doesn't show your coordinates in 1.1. I checked. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's just real quick see if I can get this to work. Now, it's easier to press that and then get in, but then you risk missing. So, oh god. No. I think maybe it depends how they're looking. There we go. Now, will they fall apart or will they keep going? That is the question. I have some lava lighting this, apparently. I didn't even notice that on the way in. It's kind of strange. They're not falling apart yet. But yeah, so this has been my 100 subscriber special. I appreciate all of my subscribers and look forward to making a lot more videos. Now see it fell apart. But I look forward to seeing a lot more videos on this channel as I get better and better in the future. I've come a long way and I hope to come a lot farther in this year and in the years to come. I have no plans on stopping even if I stopped at 100 subscribers right now and didn't gain a single subscriber all year I'm going to keep doing videos keep doing them even if I'm sick but yeah this has been kebab799 thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to see more like this if you liked it comment if you have anything to say and I will see you all next time